Warzone Gamer, Warzone Gamer TV. What's going on, my people? Uh, did I make a video yesterday? I think I did make a video yesterday. Anyway, yeah, I did. It was talking about that Sony press conference in the movie theaters. Whoever got, well, yeah, because I know there's going to be a bunch of people who actually um, who got the email. I'm on the waiting list. I don't know if I'm in or I'm out, but I want to know if you people got the same thing. Like, are you guys on the waiting list as well? Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments down below. Send me a picture of what the uh, confirmation email looks like. But right now, they got me on the waiting list. It says waiting list. Um, I wish it said confirm you're in there, but right now it says waiting list. Uh, but for the people that are, that are actually in, um, let me move back. Okay. But for the people who are actually in, kudos to you guys. You lucky sons of bitches. <clears throat> I wish I was in there. Everybody's going crazy like, oh, who wants to be in there? Uh, you can watch this at the comfort of your own home. Yeah, that's cool. That's the old school way to do it. But I'd rather be there with a bunch of gamers that's going to be wild. Just like me when you hear all these announcements. It's like the closest thing to E3 you're going to be in. So for them people just sitting there saying, oh, why would I want to be there? Don't spoil it for everybody else. I think it's a fucking cool ass idea. Whoever don't like you can suck my dick. But that's another conversation for another day. Um, I gotta get a haircut. But, um, you know, the people that got in, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And if you can, uh, send me a picture. I want to see what it looks like. The confirmation email. Uh, let's get into some news. I think the first bit of news I want to hit you guys off with is Jack Trenton back for E3. Crazy, I know, but it's not. It's not the way we think he's gonna be back. I wish Jack Trent was a good dude, man. Met him face to face, cool guy. Uh, Jack Trenton, man, he'll be with uh, Jeff Keighley on the Spike E3 All Access event. Uh, he actually just announced the place where he's working at now, and I think it's the uh, what was it, the a AI company? I don't know what the fuck they do. Artificial intelligence, whatever. Uh, he's working over there doing some big things uh, it's good to see him that he got a job now uh, but he'll be dearly missed at Sony Jack Tran was the man nobody can sit here and say you know that Jack wasn't the man uh, it's going to be different without him being at E3 but I hope the new guy whoever he is well I know who he is I've seen him in other videos YouTube videos but I just can't remember the name off the top of my head Zaire or some shit like that I don't even know his name but I hope he, you know, he got, he got some big shoes to fill, man. Uh, you know, whatever. Jack Trenton, though, he'll be with Jeff Keighley at the Spike E3 All Access event. Uh, that's that the All Access event that uh, Sony's partnering up with uh, Game Trailers to do that uh, stream. You know, the whole bullshit that's going on with the press conference. Uh, you know, that's going to be cool, though. Even though I have my 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 feelings towards Jeff Keighley, you know, and I totally forgot that I met Jeff Keighley in 2007 when Halo 3 came out. They had a big event down in uh, the Best Buy on uh, what street was that? 34th? No, was it 34th? No, it was 50 52nd Street. Some shit. Like that. It's down in Manhattan. And he was actually out there. I actually have an interview with him. But I actually have that interview on my old YouTube channel. So I'm going to try to get the email and password to that old uh, that old YouTube channel I had. I'm going to post it up on here. You guys are going to bug, bug out. I actually came out on G4 TV as well. I met um, Adam Sessler. He was on the drugs, you know. He's a wild man. But uh, moving, <laughs> moving on. Uh, yeah. What we got here? Guerrilla Games. Supposedly an insider has some information on Guerrilla Games working on a RPG game. It's an open world RPG game. To include robots and dinosaurs. Uh, yeah. It's good that they're working on something different, I guess. I just hope it doesn't play like Killzone. Like, Killzone wasn't a bad game, but it was 
I don't know. Killzone was that. Let's just put that. Uh, yeah, they're working on an RPG. I guess that's good. There's not so many RPGs out there, so. It's kind of weird coming from Gorilla Games. But let's see. E3, man. We got so much to talk about. Woo! E3. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna save you know, I'm gonna save that article for last because I wanna get into that. But Project Beast is actually GIFs. I don't, I don't know if you guys know what GIFs are, but uh there's a site that actually has a whole bunch of GIFs showing like bits and pieces of the gameplay of that game. That game is looking pretty fucking dope, man. That game is looking really, really dope, man. Uh, I can't wait to see more on that. And I hope that's a game that comes out this year. I wouldn't mind playing it. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty damn good. I like that. I'll have all the links to the uh, the, the links to these articles on the de description down below. So if you guys are interested in reading more about them, knowing more about them, they'll be down below. Uh, EA, going, moving on to the next part of the news. EA finally announced... Plants vs. Zombies, God of Warfare coming to the PlayStation consoles. Uh, a lot of people didn't think this was going to happen, but it was no. It was said back at E3 last year that it was going to be a timed exclusive. Um, you know, it's finally coming to the PlayStation platform. I actually have it on the Xbox One. Hardly play it. And the reason why I don't play it on the Xbox One like that because, one, my friends don't play it. And two, the community is pretty dead on there. Nobody uses their headsets. It's like, you know, it, it, it's kind of like zombies on Call of Duty where you need that communication to get around. And a lot of these people don't communicate. So it's just like, ugh. kind of, it kind of sucks the fun out of the game. Uh, I will probably be buying it. It's like a $40 game, so I don't really care. I will probably be buying it on the PS4 because the community probably be better being that uh, a lot more people use their mics on there and I noticed that, that a lot of a lot more people actually use their mics on the PlayStation 4 now compared to the Xbox One when back in the days it was the total opposite it was actually the 360 that had everybody talking on the PS3 it was like like a fucking graveyard but what's cool about this uh about this garden warfare which I'm guessing because of the, 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 the picture they uh, the picture they sent out through their tweet was uh, Sly Cooper so I'm guessing they're gonna do the little big planet theme where they'll have uh, custom skins or custom gear for your plants um, I think it's dope why not do a little deal like like that right let's see let's see can't wait um, <clears throat> Let's see here. We got the Project Beast down. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, game trailers. Uh, they actually have like a little segment. I'm gonna put that down in the descriptions down below. But game trailers actually has like their theories and wishes for the next Uncharted, the next Uncharted installment. And um. They basically give what they want to see and what they don't want to see on the next Uncharted. And one thing that actually stu stood out, and it actually stood out for me, because I was actually talking about this in my last video. I think it was a Microsoft video, pre uh, prediction video. But uh, they feel the same way I feel about co-op. And co-op is a fucking big deal. And I always said this, like, once co-op is in there, it's like... Let me close shit. I got people looking up my window, like I'm a nut talking to you guys. But um, yeah, uh, the co-op, I always said it's a big deal. Like there's nothing like playing with your friends that actually be the game and accomplish that as a team. Like, and that's what they're basically saying in this uh, Uncharted. They want to see co-op, <clears throat> and it's you know it's part of their wishes. But I believe there was an article early on in the year, not last year. When they talked about Uncharted, this next Uncharted, they said that there would be co-op. And it wasn't going to be that bullshit co-op that was on the old Uncharted where they had like their own side story. No, they're talking about it, it would be in the main campaign. So only time would tell, uh, you know, like I said, E3, let me, let me see the date. Let's get to the date. 
I was E3 the 9th. Some shit. Some shit. Today's officially the 30th. It's one more day into this month. So you figure it's about 10 days left till, till E3. Yeah. 10 fucking days. Can't fucking wait, man. See this face? See this smile? That means I'm happy for E3. Um, yeah, though. Yeah, I can't wait, man. There was actually some other things and some other points I wanted to make, but they kind of got washed away once I, once, <laughs> once I started talking about these articles. Oh, man. But let's see, man. I've actually been play, playing a lot of Limbo uh, on my PS Vita. I'm having a blast with it. I'm not going to lie. That game is so addicting right now. I get stuck at some parts, but it's like, oh, got to keep playing. But enough of me blabbering. Uh, let me know what you guys want in the next Uncharted. Let me know. <laughs> <coughs> what? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm watching TV. But let me end this because uh, I got sidetracked and it was like the worst way to get out of here. But leave me comments down below what you want to see in the next Uncharted. Uh, do you like co-op? Do you hate co-op? Let me know your reason why you hate co-op. Um, you know, that's why I think Gears of War is so good as well. Because it always had that co-op aspect. And had those moments where you break away from your partner. So you have to bang shit out by yourself. Oh, man. Co-op is so big. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh... Also, for the people that got in to the movie theater, that they got their confirmation email, I want to see that picture. I want to see what they gave me. If not, if you're if it's saying waiting on the list, like you're on the waiting list like me, that means everybody got that. So I'm hoping it's that. But uh, right now, it's sold out everywhere. So yeah, that's why I end the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Warzone Gamer, Warzone Gamer TV. And I'm just keep bringing out more videos during the week well not even I get my son tomorrow but hopefully like I said the news starts rolling in because that's the closer we get into freaking E3 the more news starts to pop up and leaks and all that stuff so hopefully you know come this E3 come this week we're gonna see a lot more stuff coming out of you know leaks coming out of E3 so no matter if my son is here I'll put him to the side and play his games whatever he does and I'll make a quick video for you guys but I'm off this man. Rate, comment, subscribe. And peace. What was the name? What was the name? T, T, T. See that right there? Let's go next.